Introduced in the 1975-76 to 76 line, the 280 consolidation was the first loco dressed in the Chattanooga dress. The original set was called the Chattanooga Choo Choo with smoke and steam whistle, and appears in Tycho's 1975-76 to 76 and again in the 1976 catalog. This first Tycho Chattanooga set, in addition to the 280 consolidation loco, also came with a Santa Fe crane car and boom tender, Old Dutch cleanser center flow hopper, Golf triple dome tank car, and a Chattanooga wide vision caboose. The set also included Tyco's remote control steam whistle in billboard featuring Maxwell House coffee card inserts for its billboard. Finishing out this popular set was an oval of track that could be set up with a raised section thanks to the inclusion of a 17 piece bridge and trussle set and a standard 1 amp Tyco pack. Hey look at that, is that the Chattanooga choo choo? Yes, yes, Tyco's new train! has got a real famous name. Tycho's new Chattanooga Choo Choo. Smokes and whistles. You see the smoke up up and rubbing up and out of the stack. Watch it as it chugs and chugs along on the track. Whistle for a warning every night and morning. Ooh, ooh, Chattanooga by Tycho. Tyco lists the Chattanooga 280 Consolidation Steam Engine and Tender with smoke as also available separately from the train set offering beginning in the 1975-76 product catalog. Bought by itself, the Chattanooga Consolidation and Tender 280 retailed for $33.1975. According to the 1975-76 catalog, you could also obtain a Chattanooga Caboose as a separate item. This original Chattanooga Caboose is shown as being Tycho's Wide Vision Cupola body style. This Chattanooga is in fact not the loco you would receive upon purchasing the set, but in fact a pre-production model with a different paint scheme. This is the actual loco you would receive in the set. This is the version of the Chattanooga Caboose pictured in the 1975 to 1976 catalog. It's actually not the Caboose you would get in your own set, much like the Chattanooga featured in the 75 to 76 catalog. This is the actual caboose you would get in your set. It has a noticeably different font and the line and number on this caboose are not in the one pictured in the 75 to 76 catalog. For 1977, Tycho's Chattanooga line added diesel power in the form of a yellow and orange GP20 heading up the Chattanooga Choo Choo with old fashioned sound of steam whistle train set. This 1977 set featured in addition to the Chattanooga GP20, a Wesson tank car, Baby Ruth billboard reefer, Old Dutch Cleanser Center Flow Hopper, Jello Billboard Car, and a yellow and orange Streamline Cupola Chattanooga Caboose. Extras in the GP20 Chattanooga set included Tyco's Remote Control Steam Whistle in Billboard, and an oval of track and a standard 1 amp Tyco pack. The 1977 catalog description includes the as advertised on TV logo, so a TV commercial may also be out there for this set. Tyco does list a steam-powered Chattanooga dress train set in 1977. The mammoth of the rails with smoke and steam whistle headed up by a Chattanooga 280. This train set offering had many extras and was one of the most well-appointed in the line. The mammoth kicks off with the Chattanooga consolidation and tender with smoke, Virginian hopper, Santa Fe crane car with boom tender set, Morton salt center flow hopper, Ralston Purina billboard reefer, and a red streamlined cupola Chattanooga caboose. The Mammoth also included a remote control steam whistle in billboard, operating crossing gate, and Santa Fe piggyback flat car set, Burlington unloading boxcar, a double oval track plan with a pair of electric remote control switches, and a one amp Tyco pack that would certainly get a workout from all the accessories in this set. Tyco's 1977 Mighty System 200 Super Set also had a Chattanooga representation. The Chattanooga GP20 joins the Chessy System F9A among the contents of this major set. For those desiring adding some Chattanooga pieces to their pipes without getting the train set route, 
Tycho did offer a number of separate Chattanooga items in 1977. You could buy either the Consolidation and Tender 280 with smoke, or the new that year Chattanooga GP20. The 280 retails for $36 in 1977, and the GP20 went for $16. The Chattanooga Caboose offerings changed and expand in 77. Gone is the Wide Vision Cupola body style, replaced by a pair of offerings both featuring Tyco Streamline Cupola body. The catalog lists a red Chattanooga Caboose and a yellow and orange to match the GP20's paint Chattanooga Caboose. Both sold for $2.50 retail in 1977. The solid red example carries the road name 607 and includes a white stripe. The yellow and orange model is unnumbered with a road number and features Tyco's Chattanooga stylized logo in white on its side. Tyco for 1978 makes further changes to the Chattanooga train set offerings. First, the GP20 powered set no longer carries the name Chattanooga, becoming the Southern Express. The set is very similar to 1977's GP20 Chattanooga example, but the steam whistle billboard is dropped, and a 17-piece Bridget Trussell set is added. Tyco doesn't even bother to describe the GP20 as Chattanooga, but refers to it as the catalog description as a modern GP20 Southern loco. The Chattanooga Choo Choo with smoke, chug chug, and steam whistle for 78 is the first to include Tyco's chug chug sound and boxcar. This accessory was the typical Tyco 40-foot high cube boxcar altered to include a large roller that was placed inside the shell and made contact with the track. In crude terms, it is literally a box of rocks, as the roller contains small materials that bounce along and make a chug chug -ish sound. The Chattanooga Choo Choo with smoke, chug chug, and steam whistle set is powered in 1978 by an 080 steam engine, rather than the 280 that had hauled the set since 1975. The 080 features similar Chattanooga paint and also carries the 280's road number of 638 on its cab. Freight cars included a chrome-dipped shell silver tank car, an old Dutch cleanser billboard box car, a Southern Railway pulp wood flat car, and finally the streamlined cupola red Chattanooga caboose. Extras for this train set included the already mentioned Chug Chug Sound and Boxcar, plus the remote control steam whistle and billboard, and a 17-piece bridge and trussel set. It should also be noted that 1978 is the year Tyco introduces True Steel Track. This new steel rail track replaced the long-supplied brass section track and was likely included in train sets beginning in 1978. Additionally, the as advertised on TV logo is included in the 1978 Tyco catalog. Therefore, here is the original ad from 1978. Hey, look at that. Is that the Chattanooga Choo Choo? Just see it shine as it heads down the line. It's got an old time locomotive pouring smoke from the stack. When you see your truck and there's a load down the track, see the train a coming, it's gotta keep on running. Woo woo, Chattanooga by Tyco. Chattanooga Choo Choo for your youngster from Tyco, of course. Tyco also includes the Chattanooga decorated locos in both the Mammoth of the Rails and this big System 200, though both sets appear similar and carry identical stock numbers from 1977 to 1978. The Mammoth steam engine switches over to the 080 model from the previous 280 offering. Separately, you could find the newly introduced Chattanooga 080 steam loco in tender with smoke, cataloged in the 1978, as was the Chattanooga GP20. Both versions of the Chattanooga Caboose models remain in the catalog for 78. For 1979, Tyco catalogs the Chattanooga Choo Choo with smoke, chug chug, and steam whistle. Matches the 1978 set in name, stock number, and contents. The only minor changes appear to occur with the selection of rolling stock inclusions in some sets over this period. The same applies to the Mammoth of the Rails, also powered by the 080 Steam Loco and Tender. Tyco does display the Mammoth in 79 with a Union Pacific gondola with culvert pipe, a Burlington Northern Hopper, a Great Northern Skid Flat Car with culvert pipe, and the Black Door Railbox Billboard Boxcar. Tyco's System 200 featuring the Chattanooga GP20 appears the same from 78 to 79. Separate 1979 catalog Chattanooga pieces see the GP20 no longer listed, and the yellow and orange Chattanooga caboose is also absent. Though the Chattanooga Steam Loco and Tender 080 and the solid red Chattanooga Caboose survive. Tyco gives the Chattanooga Choo Choo a big two-page spread in the 1980 catalog. 
The set contents and stock number remain unchanged in the 1980 from its 1978 example. The mammoth of the rails for 80 is identical to the revised 1979 example. Tyco System 200 set is gone in 1980 and with it goes completely the Chattanooga GP20 from the catalog. Separate purchases of the Chattanooga 080 Steam logo and tender and the Chattanooga Boost remain possible according to the 1980 catalog. Though it appears to be similar in contents, the 1981's the Chattanooga Choo Choo differs in the lack of extras. Tyco now only includes the 17-piece bridge and trussle set. The boast of hearing steam whistles and chug chug sound of the years past is replaced in the 1981 catalog by the old-fashioned glamour of realistic smoke. The set's thrilling stock included the Southern Pulpwood flat car, Burlington Northern Hopper, Old Dutch Cleanser billboard boxcar, and the Chattanooga Caboose. The 81 catalog does include the as advertised on TV logo. Tyco's 1982, 1983, and 1984 catalogs do not include any train sets with Chattanooga logos. Only the Chattanooga 080 steam loco and tender with smoke remains to represent the line for these three years. Guess that glamorous smoke just didn't bring enough interest. After a three-year absence, Tyco introduces the Chattanooga to the train sets of 1985 catalog. The contents of the train set package displayed in the catalog for 85 differ from what Tyco shows rounding a curve next to the set box. Again, the set is powered by the Chattanooga 080 Steam Loco and Tender, and the catalog shows it pulling a blue Conrail hopper, a solid yellow railbox billboard boxcar, the solid pulpwood flat car, and the general purpose caboose. By this point, Tyco only lists the Conrail hopper as a separate item in the freight car section. Though, as pointed out, the catalog is likely not all inclusive, and these other pieces of rolling stock were probably quite available at the time. In contrast, Tyco's package displayed next to the image of the train shows an oldish cleanser billboard boxcar, a Burlington Northern hopper, and most curiously, a Santa Fe Streamline Cupola caboose. Rounding out the contents listed for this set in 85 is the 17-piece Bridge of Trussell set, and an oval of track and a Tyco pack. The standard issue one amp Tyco pack had been modernized to the black unit with the blue throttle during the absence of the Chattanooga train set in the Tyco product line. The last time Tyco offered a Chattanooga set in 1981, the gold Tyco pack was the current offering. The 1985 Tyco catalog lists as new a Chattanooga 080 steam loco and tender with smoke. Though the loco had not seen any changes, the B edition represents Tyco offer of a free remote control switch to be included with numerous locomotives beginning in 1985. Sharing the page with Tyco's Rambo Electric Train and Battle Set in 1986 is a new 100-piece, the Chattanooga. Still powered by the 080 Steam Loco and Tender, this 1986 set included Tyco's 1980s introduced non-electric operating pipe loader with pipe plus the auto loader with six autos. The auto loader's automobiles were going through changes at this time, and Tyco shows the train set including very simple, single color, one piece body general compact vehicles. These simpler autos replaced Tyco's famous late 60s Chevy Camaro and AMC Javelin models. The 1986 Chattanooga set is also shown to include a Burlington Northern Gondola, the solid yellow railbox billboard boxcar, the southern pulpwood car, and the general purpose caboose. Only the Burlington Northern Gondola is listed in the 86 catalog among freight cars and it is displayed with the yellow barrels and not the white slash gray colored pipes included with the set. Tyco also provided 48 poles and signs, the 17 piece bridge and trussle set, and a Tyco pack and an oval of track. The steam locomotive section of the 1986 catalog is beginning to get a bit thin but still includes the Chattanooga 080 Steam Loco and Tender. This again includes a free remote switch and therefore carries the B in its stock number. The Chattanooga for 1987 returns with the 1985 stock number of 7416. If the 87 Tyco catalog is correct, there is a big difference between the 1985 and 1987 offerings. For 85, the set is powered by our friend the 080 in solid black with light lettering carrying the 638 cab number. The 1987 model is still the same 080 loco and tender with smoke, but now appears with silver accents on the boiler and the brown cab roof. This revised Chattanooga 080 is also numbered 1261, rather than 638. Beyond this change, the set seems identical to the one found back in 1985. Over in the steam locomotive section, Tyco presents the same solid black 638 Chattanooga 080 steam loco and tender with smoke. 
The B and the free Switch offer is no longer found in the 87 product catalog. It is anyone's guess as to what might have been available between 1987 and 1990. Tyco adds further confusion by showing an insert image of a solid black 638 model crossing to the bridge to the point out the 17-piece bridge and trussle set included in the Chattanooga set. Most likely, one could assume both versions existed on shelves at the same time. Continuing through the late 80s to 1990, Tyco continues to catalog a Chattanooga set that appears to go through no changes from its 1987 incarnation. Tyco does switch stock numbers from 7416 to 7419 during this period. The separately available Chattanooga 080 Steam Loco and Tender remains in the catalog through the period too. For its final pair of appearances, 1991 and 1992, in the Tyco product catalog, the name reverts to Chattanooga Choo Choo, and the set contents is very different from all previous offerings. The biggest change is the switch to mostly Yugoslavian-made items from the original Hong Kong-produced Tyco pieces. Tyco exits HO scale trains in 1993, and the last few years found many substitutions among items in the line. The Chattanooga set is no exception to these changes though Tyco doesn't specify the wheel arrangement for its Steam Loco in the 1991 catalog. The image shows an 080 Chattanooga locomotive with silver boiler end and brown cap roof. The Loco, however, has now become number 917 in the Chattanooga roster. The boiler design and general appearance of the last Chattanooga 080 seems to favor the Mahano-made IHC Premier Series 282 Mikado steam engine. Very likely Mahano in Europe is maker of both of these items. The last Chattanooga set is nicely equipped with Chug Chug Sound and Boxcar and the Steam Whistle and Billboard. Both see revisions for this final offering. Formerly decorated in the Baby Ruth Billboard Reefer's Dress, the last Chug Chug Boxcar comes from Ralston Purina Paint. The Maxwell House Billboard insert differs on this final Steam Whistle and Billboard, from what had been offered for many years. The freight cars included in the final Chattanooga Choo Choo sets may look like typical Tyco items, but a closer inspection will show you they are not typical. Made in Yugoslavia, the Railbox car is not the old Tyco 50-foot plug door boxcar tooling. It is a modern, no-roof-walk insulated plug 50-foot car that was not previously among Tyco's freight cars. The same goes for the 40-foot Texan tank car, though its body is not as different from the original Tyco tooling. The bridge and trussle set seems to have lost two pieces beginning in 1991. As it is noted, now being a 15-piece set from the original 17-piece set included in prior sets, Tyco notes the set comes with new, quick-click track connectors. These were small plastic clips that attempted to hold together the steel track sections. Not today's good roadbed track, but it is a bit of an improvement of just hoping the rail connectors can keep it together. According to a 1991 Tyco dealer price list, the only steam engines available for sale separately at this time is the 060, and thus you could get only the revised 080 Chattanooga of the early 90s in these sets. This same 91 dealer list also excludes the Chattanooga Whistle Billboard and Chug Chug Sound Boxcar. One may assume that the revised examples of both of these accessories do not exist outside of the train set offerings. Without alteration, Tyco lists the same Chattanooga Choo Choo set in its 1992 product catalog. There are only three train sets across two pages of Tyco's 1993 catalog, and the Chattanooga is not among them. That's the end of the line for Tyco's Chattanooga trains. This may look like the end for Tycho Chattanoogas, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. Tycho Chattanoogas continue to survive in the hands of collectors such as me, Joseph Ayer from Nickel Plated Productions, Kokosing Valley Model Railroad, and SMT Mainline. Maybe someday in the future we'll see a future where Tycho is back in business, but all we can do for now is hope.